Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing an art activity with Christmas colors. Now, before we begin, let's see if anyone can guess what the two Christmas colors are. Hmm. Let's think, let's think, let's think. Okay, let's see who has it. Did you guys guess green and red? Because if you did, then you are correct. These are the two colors that have been holiday colors for many, many, many years. And this is because of the holly tree, or as some of our friends may have seen, a holly wreath. The holly tree is an evergreen tree that stays green all throughout the winter. And they have these tiny little red berries on them too. And that is how we get our two Christmas colors, red and green. Today we're going to try to make our own holly wreaths with paint. What you'll need for this art activity is red paint, green paint, paper. You can use any color of paper you want. I just have white paper here. And then you're going to grab some art materials that are going to give you cool little textures. So as you can see, I have these different little rollers. I have some sponges there. I have different kinds of sponges. I have a cap, some corks. And these are all going to give me different textures. Now I'm going to show you guys the different patterns or textures that you can get from the art materials I have. Now I'm taking the cap, I'm dipping it in the green paint, and I'm going to press it onto the paper. And as you can see, it makes a little circle. So depending on the size of the cap you have, you can have a small circle or a big circle. Now I'm going to take the cork into the paint and then we're going to see the texture that this leaves and it looks like that then i'm taking the bigger cork i'm gonna dip it in the green paint again press it onto the paper and then you can see i have a little bigger so now I'm going to take this sponge and I'm going to dip it into the red paint. If you have a plate, it would be way easier than doing this, but I had to work with what I had. <laughs> and then I press it onto the paper and it looks like this. So depending on what part of the sponge you press into the paper, it will or may look different. Then I have this other sponge that has a different pattern on it. And when I press it onto the paper, you can see that it leaves a different texture or pattern. Now I'm taking the rolling sponge. This will be way easier on a paper plate. And I'm rolling it onto the paper. And it looks like this. So this one is way lighter than the other ones. And then I have this little circle sponge. I'm going to dip it in the red paint and then show you guys what that looks like so here i'm just showing you guys what it looks like up close so the uh, first one was the cap this is the small corkscrew now here's the bigger corkscrew then there's one of the sponges there's the rolling sponge the tiny little circle sponge and then this is our bigger sponge and it has way bigger holes. So now I'm going to get started on the wreath. I have a blank piece of paper here. Remember you can grab any color you want. And I'm going to take the small circle sponge, dip it into the green paint, and I'm going to start making a circle with the tool. And I'm just going to keep repeating that and going around in a circle. Then I'm going to grab the bigger sponge and it has bigger holes in it so the texture looks a little bit different. And I'm just dabbing that on the paper and making sure I'm making a circle. So here it is. You can already see that there's two different patterns. Then I'm going to take the cork. And 
I'm making a circular shape as I dip the cork in. And I'm just going around in a circle. And then I'm taking another sponge. I dip it in the green paint and I'm going in a circle again. And I'm going to take the cap and I'm gonna dip it in the green paint. And then as you can see, it's making circles onto the paper. So here is the wreath. And we have little different textures in there. So I'm adding some more green to it because I want it to be really green. You can make it as light green or as dark green as you like. Okay, here is the wreath so far. I'm going to add a little bit more green. So I'm going to take the cork, dip it into the green paint, and then add some more circles going around. Okay, now that I'm done with the wreath, I'm going to get started on the berries. Now we're going to use the color red for the berries. I'm going to take this small little circular sponge, dip it into the red paint, Make sure you get your paint on there. And I'm gonna start pressing into the paper. And as you can see, it's making these little berry shapes. So I want to add some more berries, but I wanna use a different texture. So I grabbed the smaller corkscrew and I'm gonna dip it into the red paint. Again, this will be way easier if you have a paper plate. <laughs> and then I'm just going to press around the wreath now. If you wanna be creative and you wanna make this inside of the wreath or on the corners of the wreath, the outside of the wreath, you can do that too. And if you wanna make your wreath a different shape, you can do that as well. You don't have to make exactly what I made. This is just how I made my wreath. Now you can make your wreath the way you want to. I'm just adding more berries. Then I'm grabbing the bigger cork. And I'm gonna press it into the paper. Now here we have it, our own Jolly Wreaths. Now remember you guys can get creative with this and you can add less green or more green. You can add more berries, less berries, however you'd like to make it. I hope you guys enjoy this art activity and I will see you soon. Bye!